for me, art is all, just a constant experiment. That's all it is. It's all about experimenting and learning from mistakes. But I try to be quite open-minded when using colour because if you have these set rules in your mind of what shouldn't be used with what, I think that could be quite restricting. Being more liberal with the paint and how you apply it um, makes a real difference. When I start out on a new piece, I try not to think too specifically about where I want it to end. A lot of my recent work has been more abstract and more based on mood uh, rather than a specific thing that's happened. I used loads of colour, different techniques in mark making, different um, materials as well, acrylic, oil, spray paint, anything I can get my hands on, and just try to create interesting pieces of work. This one's a classic uh, good versus evil story. <laughs> um, and again, I tried to remove a lot of the imagery that was already existing behind it. This is a process I like to use, um, sort of redacting the imagery so that only certain bits show through. But obviously you have good and evil and it's just a narrative based on that. I very much like simultaneous narrative where events that happen over many years are shown within one plane so you can see the events unfold as if they were happening all at the same time. Not only choosing the colour for what mood I want it to be, but how other colours react to other colours as well. Colour's completely integral to all work I do, basically. It and that feels absolutely amazing. Um, but truthfully, it's it's my escape.